Craig, Jen, sources at Lozier tell us the building was secured and locked down for a period of time today for a shooting that took place in the street around 9.45 this morning. And while the incident uh, had nothing to do with Lozier or surrounding businesses, all the companies took caution. Yeah, they were kind of having a confrontation in, in the road there, and so I had to stop. They were in my way. Rebecca Soresby was nearing the end of her morning shift when she came across a roadblock near 13th and John Jay Pershing. You could tell they were arguing, and there was a few things thrown down in the road. Two men arguing in the middle of the street, a car facing the wrong way, and frustration growing for Soresby. After a few minutes, she wanted to intervene until she noticed one man holding a gun. The other guy went and got into the car, the driver's seat, shut the door, and the guy with the gun just walked up to the window and started shooting. He shot like four or five times. Police have not said what started the argument between the two men. Early reports said it involved a possible stolen car. That is a possibility that we are looking into to see if this was actually a suspect with a stolen vehicle. Both men are in police custody. Authorities canvassed the area for clues and witnesses. Hours after the shooting, Soresby is allowed to leave. But with horrifying images, she hopes do not stick with her for long. I don't know. I just kind of freaked and kind of creeped around them. Now, police interviewed a number of witnesses today, and they have not released information about the suspect or the victim. They do say the victim is recovering at CHI Health while they interviewed the suspect at headquarters. Reporting live, Rebecca at KMTV, Action 3 News. The woman accused.